next on Street Smarts. Who needs a new pair of shoes? Who is Kenneth Cole? Ain't he like the son of Nat King Cole? And his sister would be Natalie Cole. Hey, Natalie Cole, why not, why not? Who looks most in need of a little R&R? &R? Your lover wants to go to a B&B. &B. What's B&B? &B? Bed beats. Bed and beats. Bed and breakfast. You ever been to one of these? Yeah, hey, with a lover once. Yeah, how'd it go? As well as it should have. Street Smarts. Think you've got them? Find out now. this great land to the other from Tucson to Times Square looking for everyday men and women and testing their street smarts by asking basic questions about the world around them. It will be up to our players to determine who's got it going on and who's a few clowns short of a circus. And speaking of players, let's meet him. Hello, Rana. Yeah. Looking very nice with the cowboy hat. And we got Mike right there, too. Don't forget Mike, guys. Now remember, it's winner take all here on street smarts. The winner gets the pot. The loser won't get squat. Now let's meet the three people they'll be making snap judgments about. First up, Nathan in Chicago's Lincoln Park performs a trick you won't see in any of those David Copperfield specials. Now, Nathan, I understand you have a balloon trick, something to do with yeah. your nose. I got a balloon on my sleeve for you. Okay, I want to see this. Okay. Oh, okay. Now, remember, kids, don't try this at home because I'm a trained professional. And yeah, you don't want to get anything stuck up your nose. I have there. And at the water tower in Chicago, Tiffany plays it safe. <laughs> Tiffany, where are you from and what do you do? I'm from Streeter, Illinois, and I'm a student right now. And what are you going for? Do you know what you want to be? I'm a children's minister. Oh, very cool. Okay. You're right in the middle of your bachelorette party. Yes. What are you guys going to do tonight? Um, have a fun and crazy time. Like uh, male strippers involved? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> you sure about that? Or are you I... just saying that in case you're husband to be sees us. No, I don't think so. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're studying to be a minister. I wasn't paying attention. And not far from Nike Town, I found a man they call Adidas. I'm outside Sluggers here in Wrigleyville, and I'm standing next to Adidas. Adidas, tell us what you do here in Wrigleyville. I scalp tickets. I sell <laughs> tickets. What's the most you've ever sold a ticket for? 150 bucks. Was it a special occasion or? Playoffs, uh, back in the day. Okay. <laughs> back in the day for back the Cubs. Back in the day. <laughs> if you could marry anyone famous, who would it be? I think I'll take Halle Berry. Halle Berry. Everyone says Halle Berry. Fine. <laughs> okay, guys, we got a good group up here, and it's time to play a little game we like to call Who Knew It? Now, see, we asked the same question all three people in the field, and our players challenge is to guess who answered the question right. They will lock in your choice, and a correct guess is going to get them $100. Oh, yeah. Okay, guys? Yeah. Put on your thinking caps. Here we go. The first question I asked to Nathan, Tiffany, and Adidas, I showed all three this photo. And I asked them, who is this? So flip up your paddles, guys, and let me know who knew it. What do you think? Nathan, Tiffany, or Adidas knew the answer to this one. Okay, you guys, uh, you guys are both locked in. And uh, Mike, you think Nathan knows, huh? He seems a little crazy, but it, he's got to know who that is. Okay, let's find out. Nathan, who is this? Well, that's George Bush Jr. <laughs> that's all right. You got $100. Nice job. Now, Rada, we're going to see if Tiffany knows this also. Tiffany, who is this? Bob Dole. Bob Dole. You ran for president a couple years ago. No, that would be our president, Rada. I'm sorry, Tiffany didn't get it right. Here's the next question. Mike's off to an early lead. I asked all three, Macintosh, Fuji, and Golden Delicious are all what? What do you think, guys? Who knew it? Tiffany, Nathan, or Adidas could tell me that one. <laughs> it's just the president. She wasn't sure. Okay. Uh, you guys are locked in. And uh, Rada, you think Nathan knows this one, huh? Mm -hmm. okay. I think Nathan would know because he's, he is kind of wacky. Okay. And the assortment of, um, you know, okay. check it out. Let's find out so we can tie up the game. <laughs> Macintosh, Fuji, and Golden Delicious are all what? Well, film, film companies. Film companies. That's a wrong answer, Rada. I'm sorry, he did not know. Now, Mike, you think Tiffany's gonna come through this time for you? I hope so. Yeah, yeah, right? okay. Tiffany. She's on her bachelorette party, see if she knows. <laughs> Tiffany, Macintosh, Fuji, and Golden Delicious are all what? Apples. They're all apples, there you go. Do you like uh, uh, Fuji's? No, I've never had one. Do you like Mitsubishi? Mitsubishi are cars. You can't say that word, can you? I can't. Try to say it, Mitsubishi. Mitsubishi. 
Mitsubishi. Mitsubishi. <laughs> <laughs> she got it right. Way to go, Mike. You had Tiffany gives you $200. You're two for two. All right, Rada, we got one more chance to make some money this round for both of you. I asked them, what is transported in the Alaskan pipeline? <laughs> Who knew it, guys? What do you think? Do you think it was Nathan, Tiffany, or Adidas? Thinks, uh, knows what's transported in the uh, Alaskan pipeline. Okay, looks like Mike's ready, and Rod, are you ready? Okay, yeah. you guys are locked in. All right, Mike, you think Nathan's gonna make it three for three for you this round, I'm huh? Hoping. All I, right, I think he's sort of bright. You okay, know? <laughs> let's find out. What is transported in the Alaskan pipeline? Oil. Oil, and where is the Alaskan pipeline, uh, where is it? It's somewhere uh, in the north. That's your right answer, Mike. Way to go. You're up to $300. Now, Rada, you think Adidas will know this, too? I got to give him a chance to go to a fall oh, on yeah. me, so, uh, you know. Come let's on, find out, see if he can come through for you. What is transported in the Alaskan pipeline? Oil. Oil. There you go. Oh. <laughs> That's right. It's oil. Oil. Yeah. He got it right. You had, you had Adidas. Way to go, Rada. You got $100 again around one. Nice job. But Mike won a perfect three for three. Nice job, Mike. You have 300 bucks. Now, don't go anywhere, folks. Our players will try to figure out who blew it when we return. What does it mean if you dress monochromatically? Mono, one clothes, like one thing. People say Regis Philbin dresses monochromatically because it's all one color. Like, I don't know. Oh, makes sense. <laughs> monochromatically. <laughs> monochromatically. Between our players. Now we have Rada here. Now Rada, I hear you're a belly dancer, and uh, I was wondering if you could show us a few moves. I could show a few couple with you, you know. Okay. Care, but who really cares? Uh, so anyway, good to know. Mike, uh, you pulled a, pl a pretty good prank on a friend while he was sleeping. Yeah, first year in college, uh, he was sleeping. We were gonna you lock his head to the bedpost, <laughs> and uh, halfway through, he woke up and started to try to bite at us. But he actually had no teeth, so he just gummed our arms. <laughs> so we kind of laughed and finished him off, and left him there for about. Good 30 crowd. Minutes. How about some more belly dancing? All right, right. I know. Okay. <laughs> hey, it's time to raise the stakes as we start our next round. Who blew it? This time we asked the same question, only two of our Boulevard bookworms, one answered right, one did answer wrong. Now each time Rada or Mike correctly identifies who booted the question, they get 200 bucks, yeah. And you can earn an extra $200 by using the dunce cap, here's how. When you hear a question you think will discombobulate your opponent, whack the buzzer on your chair and dunce them. If they cannot answer the question, you get 200 bucks. Remember, there's only one dunce in the round, so don't get goofy with that buzzer. Okay guys, here's the first question I asked to both Nathan and Tiffany. Your lover wants you to go to a B and B. What's B and B? Oh my God! You've been done, Mike. Throw the cap on top of Rada's hat. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna read the question again. There's two hundred dollars on the line. If you can't answer it, he gets the money. But if you answer it, it stays with you. And we're gonna throw the cap on Mike's head. I'm gonna read it again. You have five seconds. Your lover wants to go to a B and B. What's B and B? Um, a bed and breakfast. Oh. It's the correct answer, Mike. You got burned. Way to go. Rada, nice block on the dunce. Okay, guys, flip up your paddles. Tell me, who blew it out of these two? Mike moaned in pain. He went, oh. <laughs> okay. That's all right. All right. Okay. All right, you're both locked in now. You both think Nathan blew it. Let's find out. See if we can get you 200 bucks each. Your lover wants to go to a B&B. &B. What's B&B? &B? Bed and breakfast. <laughs> you ever been to one of these? Yeah, with a lover one. <laughs> He got that right. I'm sorry, guys. You both had Nathan. He got the right answer. Mike, you were burned twice on that. Uh, for a wrong answer, Tiffany blew it. Your lover wants to go to a B&B. &B. What's B&B? &B? Um, a bed beach. A bed, bed be and beach. Bed and, bed and beach. It's bed and breakfast. Bed and breakfast. You ever hear of a bed and breakfast? Yes, I have. <laughs> guys, should have went with Tiffany. She blew that one. Here's the next question, guys, in the round. This one was to Tiffany. And to Adidas. Look at that grill. Nice. All right. I asked both of them, what state is Salt Lake City in? So who blew it? Who did not know what state that was in? We got a tie game here, 300 bucks each. Okay, you guys are locked in. You think Adidas doesn't know this, Rada? You don't think he knows? I don't think he knows. I, I, I don't know. It seems like he's six close to home. So. Okay, all right. Mike, you agree? Oh, yeah. She, she looks like she might be moving. Okay, so. all right. Let's find out if he blew it. What state is Salt Lake City in? Utah. Yeah, baby. I'm sorry, guys. You blew it again. You both had the wrong, uh, 
You both got the guy who got it right. Adidas, Adidas got that right. Um, for a wrong answer, Tiffany once again was wrong. Let's watch. What state is Salt Lake City in? Um, <laughs> Colorado. Colorado? Sure. Utah. Utah, that's right. Okay. That's right. <laughs> All right, thanks, Tiffany. Okay, guys, here's the last question of the round. We got a tie game, $300 each. I asked to Nathan and to Adidas, who is Kenneth Cole? So who blew it? What do you think? Who did not know who Kenneth Cole was? Was it Nathan or Adidas? And uh, go ahead and make your choice. Are you, okay. You ready? okay. All right. Okay. You guys are both locked in, and you guys both uh, both agree every every time here in this round. You both think Nathan blew it. Mike, you don't think he knows? No. Adidas is the street guy. He would right. know Kenneth. Okay. Cole. Let's find out. See if Nathan blew it. Who is Kenneth Cole? Kenneth Cole. Ain't he like the son of Nat King Cole? The son of Nat King Cole, very famous singer. Yeah. And his sister would be Natalie Cole. Hey, Natalie Cole, why not, why not? Unforgettable. Somebody's got to forget it. You both got made to be blowing. Nice job, guys. $200 for uh, each of you for the correct answer. My man Adidas knows. Who is Kenneth Cole? Kenneth Cole is a person that makes clothing, shoes, and... In the retail business. There you go. The retail business. You got it right. That's right. <laughs> it doesn't work, Kenneth Cole. All right, let's recap the scores. Roddy, you have $500, but Mike's also got $500. We got a tie game. Now the horse play continues as our players pick their ponies next on Street Park. Come on. <laughs> what animal was blamed for being the origin of swine flu? Swine. Swine. That would be. A monkey. A monkey? Yeah. <laughs> a monkey, pretty much. Actually, swine would be a pig. Oh, yeah, same thing. Monkey, pig. Monkey, pig, same, same thing. Same thing. Welcome back. We're about to go from a trot to a full gallop because it's time to pick your pony. This time, Rod and Mike will each choose one of the three cerebral stallions for this entire round. I try to guess how they'll answer three questions. A correct prediction is worth 300 bucks, you guys. Nice. And we're going to leave the dunce cap in this round. It can only be used once, and it is also worth $300. Now, you guys are tied, and uh, backstage, Rada, you won the preliminary tiebreaker. So you get to choose first. So who would you like to put your money on? Nathan. You're going to go with Nathan? All right, Mike, how about you? I'm riding with Adidas You're on this one. You're going with Adidas? All right, very cool. OK, Rada, here was the first question of Nathan. We got a tie game. Each question is worth $300. In the popular Budweiser commercials, what are you supposed to say after I say, what's up? What do you think? You think Nathan got that right or wrong? I think you got it right. You think you got this one right? All right, let's see if you can take the lead. $300 on the line. In the popular Budweiser commercials, what are you supposed to say after I say, what's up? What's up? Bud? That's a wrong answer, Rod. I had no clue what I was talking about there. Uh, the correct answer is you're supposed to say, what's up? Okay, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, here's the first question to Adidas of the round. I asked him, what type of balls do cats typically cough up? <laughs> you think Adidas got that right or wrong, Mike? You can take the lead here, buddy. I'm going to say he got it wrong. You got, the, you got this one wrong? I don't think he All right, let's see, let's see if he's wrong. What type of balls do cats typically cough up? Wow. Cat balls. Cat balls? <laughs> Meow. That's a wrong answer. Way to go, Mike. That's 300 bucks for you. Takes you up to $800. You have a nice little lead. Uh, hair balls or fur balls? <laughs> okay. Uh, Rada, here's the next question to uh, Nathan for you. I asked him, what did Melville Dewey invent? Oh, my God. You're a little late. Mike got it first, Rada. I'm sorry. You've been done. $300 on the line. If you get this right, you can tie it up. I'm going to read it again. You have five seconds. What did Melville Dewey invent? Five seconds. Uh, Telephones. That's a wrong answer, Rod. I'm sorry. 300 bucks goes to Mike. Mike, way to go, buddy. Let's pull that around. Got it just a little quicker than you, Rod. All right, put it down. Sure. Now, do you think Nathan got that right or wrong? What do you think? Think he got it right or wrong? Um, I think wrong. You think he got it wrong? All right, let's find out if he's with you on that one. What did Melville Dewey invent? The Dewey Decimal System. And where do we find this? In the public libraries. 
That's very good. That's actually right. You're the first person to get that. Hey, I went to elementary school. Rod, I'm sorry you got that right. It is the Dewey Decimal <laughs> System. Yeah. Don't hurt Nathan. He's a nice guy. All right. Okay. All right. Here we go. Uh, Mike, next, que next question to Adidas. You have a you have a nice lead. You have 600 bucks lead. 600 dollar lead here. If someone tells you they're getting LASIK surgery, what's being operated on? Okay, there's only one dunce. Yeah, that's okay. Do you want to hit the buzzer? Go for it. <laughs> Can have fun with it. Yeah, Mike, what do you Adidas think? Adidas isn't real good with his teeth care, okay. so I don't think he knows anything about his eyes. I'm All right, check it out. Let's find out. If someone tells you they're getting LASIK surgery, what's being operated on? I think it's the penis. The penis. Yeah. Would you ever let your penis be operated on? Uh, for enlargement. For enlargement? Yeah. <laughs> that's a wrong answer. Way oh, to go, yeah. Mike. Another $300 for you. It's their eyes, LASIK surgery. All right. Okay, Rada, you can uh, get some money here. This is the last question for you to the round to Nathan. Uh, I asked him, what famous event awards its victor with the green jacket? So what do you think? Do you think he got that right or wrong? What famous event awards its victor with the green jacket? What do you think, Roddy? You need this 300 bucks here. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna have to put my faith in him. Come on, Nathan, come through. For okay, me. let me see it. You're gonna let's go with right. Right. All right. Let's see come if we can on. do it. What famous event awards its victor with a green jacket? Golf. Well, what event? The Stanley Cup. <laughs> That's a wrong answer. I'm sorry, Rada. He did not know. Do you know the right answer to that one? Do you know what it is? Mm -hmm. It's the Masters tournament. It's a golf tournament. He was close on that. All right, Mike, you can extend your lead here. You have a $900 lead. Uh, this is the last question around for you. I showed Adidas this card, and I asked him pr to pronounce this word and use it in a sentence. Think he could do it, Mike? What do you think, buddy? Oh, 300 bucks on the line. That's a tough call, but he's been going. He's going to get him wrong. You so think I'm he's going to get it wrong? wrong yeah. All right, let's check it out. Adidas, pronounce this word and use it in a sentence, OK? Valet. Valet parking. I used to work at a valet parking lot. Oh, did you really? Yeah. You got it right. I'm sorry, Mike. Ha! Adidas got that one right. Don't worry. You're still doing all right. Uh, at the end of the round here, Ryder, you have $500. That's good. But Mike's got $1,400. Nice job, buddy. Now, when we return, Rada and Mike will be making a final prediction on a question I asked to Nathan, Tiffany, and Adidas. I asked them, who is AC Cowlings famous for driving? Yeah, stay tuned because one of our players will be left in the dust in our final round. The wager. Don't go away. Okay. Welcome back. Rod and Mike, here's what's happening. During the break, each of you secretly chose one of the three people out on the street, made a prediction as to whether they were right or wrong, and wagered an amount of money not to exceed the total you now have. Pretty close game here. Rod, you got $500. Uh, Mike's got $1,400. Actually, I guess it's not that close. I remember, only the winner slips out of here with any Benjamins, which means everything rides on this final question. And here's a question I asked to Nathan, Tiffany, and Adidas. Who is AC Cowlings famous for driving? Okay, let's get your choices here. Rada, you're trailing right now, but uh, stranger things have happened. So whose clip do you want to see? Try to win this game. Who, which one do I want? Yeah, okay. flip it up. You're going to go with uh, Tiffany. Very nice. Mike, you got a nice commanding lead here. See if you can increase that total. Who do you want to see? I'm taking Nathan on this You're one. You're going with Nathan. All right. Nobody picked Adidas. We're going to say farewell. And uh, we're going to check out Tiffany's clip for you, Rod, to see if you can make a big comeback. Who is AC Cowlings famous for driving? Um, driving cars. Driving cars. That's a wrong answer. She got that wrong, Rada. You had Tiffany. Did you say she would get it wrong? Let's flip over your card and let me see. You said she would get it wrong. Very nice, Rada. How much of your $500 are you going to add? How much did you wager of your $500? She went for all of it. All right, that gives you $1,000. Not enough for the lead, but that's still a good position to be in. Now, Mike, you have Nathan. You got the lead right now. Let's see if he can uh, help you hold on to the lead for the victory. Who is AC Cowlings famous for driving? Uh, Hemingway? Who knows? Hemingway? Drove Hemingway? Why not? Somebody had to drive the man. That is also a wrong answer. The correct answer is O.J. Simpson in the infamous Bronco chase. All right, Mike, you had Nathan. He got that wrong. Rod has got a thousand bucks. She wants to know uh, if you said right or wrong. What'd you say, buddy? I said he got it wrong. You did say he'd get it wrong. All right, how much you can have your total, Mike? $1,400 plus $300 gives him 1700 He played a conservative, but hey, you won the game. Way to go, buddy. Congratulations. Who is AC Cowlings famous for driving? Budweiser trucks. You guys, Budweiser trucks? Yeah, Budweiser trucks. 